Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're having a good day. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to update your Mini Doge Miner. A new update came out for your firmware, so let's not waste any more time and let's hop to it. So I'll make sure to have the links in the description below, but for those of you who are new to updating your firmware, let's hop into the Gold Shell website. So come here right now. Go on over to the top right where it says support. Click on that. Come down to where you see tutorial. Go ahead and select, select software. From here, you can come on down to the software box as well. And then you're gonna see this top one, Yoda MC in firmware. It says get the latest version. So go ahead and click that, okay? So that's gonna take you to GitHub where they have a list of all their firmware that you can download. Come on down, scroll on down here. You're going to see here for the mini doge uh, intro that gives you a little intro in terms of how to set up your miner. But right here, this is the firmware gold shell mini doge. You can uh, right click and download it there or open it up here or just click on it and that works too. And uh, click download. So once it's download, we're good there. Then you're gonna go to find.goldshell.com to find your different uh, mini doge miners. So you can see mine are here and you can tell that the last time I updated them or they went down, I had to turn the power off, turn them back on, it was 25 days ago. Well, come on over here to your settings. And one thing I wanna express here uh, before you update everything is once you update your miner, your IP address may change by one digit. So this one here, you can see it says 85. Uh, it may change to 84, so don't freak out if suddenly you can't log into your miner. That's why there's a button on the back of the uh, on the back of the uh, mini doge box. You click that so that you can uh, find it within your find.goldchill.com uh, site here. Um, but I found it too easy. You just change the digit one, and you can find it that way too. And so here to get started here, let's uh, make sure that we are in. Oh boy, let's make sure we're in English. Go on settings here, okay? It's gonna pull up for that particular box. Let's change it to English so we actually know what we're clicking on here, okay? And then you can go over to your system and you're gonna scroll down to where it says update. But before you update here, you need to unlock your box. So go ahead and unlock. So now once it's unlocked, you can click on the uh, attachment icon. Add the particular firmware that you want to upgrade the miner with, click update, and then it's going to go through the upload process here. And once that happens, um, you won't be able to make any more changes to this miner. You will need to go back to find my gold shell. Like I said, you may have to change that digit to find it, or just go on your box, click that black button on the back. Um, but I'm not going to wait here for this. Let's jump ahead and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so now it is updated. Let's go ahead and refresh the, the page. When we come back to home, you can see there's no data here on the miner, um, so it can't be read right now. And so what you want to do here is like, okay, what's going on? Well, so then come on back to find.goldchill.com, and you're going to see that little uh, icon there showing you that you just recently updated uh, this mini doze. And then you can see that the IP address has not changed, um, at least on my end here. So I can go back into it, and I can see it is starting back up. The firmware version is updated to the 2.2.0. I've got my hardware version there. If I wanted to make any other changes to the miner or the system, I go right over here and make those changes there, but I don't need to. I'm just gonna let it run. I'll check in on it here in a second just to make sure everything is running appropriately. But then let's go ahead and update all the other ones. So same process. Click that uh, settings icon, jump on over to English. Let's unlock, put in my password. Come to system. Go ahead and select the firmware and update. And then I'm just gonna do this for the other three that I have as well. And I'll show you at the very end what everything should look like once we're done. All right, and so now you can see here on all five of my uh, box mini doge miners they're all updated it's notifying me that i updated them recently there and then of course the up time or the update time now is within a few seconds and three minutes you know i could do a refresh here and eh, okay i won't update it for a bit here but anyways you can then go into the settings you can update anything else you want on those uh, mini doge boxes um but they're updated now they're running on the latest firmware 
It's that easy, you can do it yourself. I'll put links in the description below. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to help you out. Um, as always guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, until next time, I'll see you when I see you.